Yeah, you are listening to Independent TV 7 as it is uh, breaking. Uh, it says uh, Sunday, Adeyemo AK Sunday Go versus uh, Government of Benin Republic on illegal arrest. Now, we don't know if that is true, but as a Yoruba nation agitator, or rather, I would say, as a Yoruba nation uh, uh, citizen, I would say Sunday Go, a Yoruba. A national agitator has taken a case up against the government of Benin Republic for illegal arrest and detention. You know what that is. Uh, Sunday Bobo, whose real names uh, is or are uh, Chief Sunday Adeyemo, he went through his lawyer to file a one million dollar uh, suit. Yes, uh, in the Community Court of uh, Justice, uh, the Economic uh, Community of West African States ECOWAS uh, for the cost of damages for each day he has spent in incarceration in the Benin Republic and the country of Benin. I would say yes, uh, because uh, we have a bilateral uh, relationship with international organization, and that has, you know, uh, show, uh, shown its effect as uh, the ECOWAS and now the Economic Community of West African States. ECOWAS for the cost of damages for each day he has spent in incarceration in the country. Oh my god, one million dollar suit. Oh, I definitely I believe that the Nigerian government and the Benin Republic government has violated a whole lot of uh, human rights uh, uh, freedom and uh, also, you know, uh, tampered um, with uh, the brains of uh, uh, the agitators. Uh, in his counterpart, uh, Nabekano is in the custody of the DSS, which is the Department of State Service uh, in Abuja, and uh, he is being, you know, treated as a criminal uh, when the government, or rather, I would say, the uh, court has not levered it uh, as being a criminal. According to Sunday Bo's lawyer, Mr. Tosin or Jaumo, a uh, prayer for a declaration of the court that been a uh, banner. Republic action uh, regarding his unlawful arbitrary arrest and detention, uh, violating his freedom of movement, his right to an uh, unbiased uh, trial within a reasonable time, uh, violated his right to dignity as a person. Uh, what that simply means is, according to his lawyer, says that uh, they have violated the right of Sunday. But you could remember vividly when Sunday Igbo's house was raided at that, you know, only hour uh, of 1:30 a.m. Uh, July 1st, uh, 2021. If you are following the antecedent of a uh, uh, the agitator uh, though people say he's a yoruba activist or is an illiterate but at, as it is he has made the li uh, lives and uh, mind of uh, nigerians and their intentions known uh, to god to uh, to the government and every other uh, body that we are a treaty to which is the agreement we have as the bilateral relationship uh, which has given nigeria prowess uh, to go and you know uh, stand in international organization uh, as one of uh, the united nation uh, member and as it is i would say uh, sunday Bubu and report has gone further revealed that the other being sought according to igbo's council uh, is pursuant to article 59 of rules of procedure and expedited, expedited uh, definitely that's English and the procedure and hearing uh, regarding the imprisonment and the uh, release of uh, his client uh, that is coming from uh, the lawyer according to Mr. Tosin or Ja Omo. Uh, definitely I would say Sunday Igbo has been languishing in the captive and the detention of uh, Benin Republic just because uh, he's in his view and in the minds of Nigerians said uh, that yes uh, let's put it a stop to bad uh, governance and also in otherwise uh, if there is no stop to uh, the headsman uh, farmer uh, that crisis definitely he is going to uh, come out and what really brought sunday go out was just because uh, he must have been hearing yes i think but what he might but based on uh, the headsman has been you know uh, you know committing havoc and also you know making uh, unrest in the life of the people of igogon in oyo state and the people of ibarakpa uh, thereafter until when uh, uh, the full and the headsmen, uh, who or I would rather say uh, the uh, terrorists uh, which who are hiding under the disguise uh, to be a uh, header or I would say they are heading or rearing cattle you know started you know misbehaving so it got to a point where Sunday we saw that his friend uh, who he brought all the way from uh, diaspora uh, was killed by this uh, entity uh, he believed that yes uh, truly uh, there are uh, violent you know attack kidnapping raping of uh, women in Igogon land and uh, Ibarakba Sonic Bo came out and he was ferreted uh, when he saw that uh, Dr. Aborodi uh, who uh, was his friend you know uh, was killed by this uh, uh, so-called uh, entity uh, the Fulani elders uh, just because they 
trampled upon his farmland uh, because uh, it was Sunday Igbo who invited him all the way from uh, Germany to come and float uh, a farm. Uh, since Buhari says everybody should go to farm. Uh, at the long run, he admonished uh, and scolded the Fulani headsmen to be uh, until uh, when uh, they you know, took justice into their hands or took laws into their hands. And it has been reported that, uh, it, uh, that the order being solved, according to Igbo's counsel, uh, is in pursuance to Article 59 of Rules of Procedure and Expedited Procedure and hearing uh, regarding the imprisonment and the uh, release of uh, his client. Yes, uh, that is what it is. Uh, we know uh, the antecedents of uh, all the narrative uh, the uh, government of today are planning. Yeah, uh, they have really, really, you know, failed and uh, woefully in their duty, you know, because uh, it is the uh, public funds that they use in uh, paying salary and also, you know, enjoying immunity which covers them. Uh, but they have now reacted uh, by saying that, yes, Sunday Igbo is a criminal uh, because uh, before uh, Sunday Igbo was arrested in Benin Republic, uh, the Nigerian government, you know, uh, placed a ban on Sunday Igbo or an embargo that, yes, uh, Sunday Igbo is a criminal, uh, says Sunday Igbo is stockpiling arms. Mm, he stopped by lambs and also uh, he is uh, inciting war uh, in uh, the public. I don't know where that is coming from because I believe Sunday Igbo only did his rally protest in the, the southwestern state. Uh, that is uh, in Oshun uh, state, uh, he did uh, in Ondo state, he did uh, in Ekiti state, he did uh, in Ogun state and uh, uh, in Lagos state as well. So it has been said that uh, he is inciting war or he was inciting war and is into uh, ammunition trafficking. That is what is called. Uh, that is stockpiling arms. Well, how can somebody be stockpiling arms and, uh, and still, you know, be protesting or you know making a uh, rally uh, come to pass? Uh, definitely, you would rather face uh, those that have faced him with weapon. Uh, I said, uh, uh, Doctor Aborodi, you know, emerges uh, on newspaper when. Uh, he was being killed by this uh, uh, Fulani headsman. Definitely, we all know what the antecedent is. Uh, it is not Fulani headsman. It is the uh, Boko Haram who has hid or eat under the disguise uh, to be rearing cow. And that is uh, where the problem lies. Uh, but notwithstanding, Sunday Igbo has really, really filed uh, a suit uh, through his lawyer uh, on Benin Republic's uh, government uh, by you know incarcerating him uh, as long as uh, they are done. Igbo whose real, real, real names uh, are Chief Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Igbo, and also went through his lawyer uh, to file a $1 million uh, suit in the Community Court of Justice, uh, the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, uh, which I have uh, uh, you know, pronounced earlier, uh, for the cost of damages for each day he has uh, spent in incarceration in the country. According to Sunday Igbo's uh, lawyer, Mr. Tosin or Jaomo, a uh, prayer for a declaration of the court that Benin's uh, Republic actions uh, regarding his unlawful, arbitrary arrest and detention, uh, violating his freedom of movement, his right to an uh, unbiased uh, trial within a reasonable time. Uh, also, they have violated Sunday Bo's right uh, to dignity as a person. Uh, then, I would say if Sunday Igbo uh, is being, you know, alleged to be trafficking arms or let me say inciting war, uh, definitely, then the court should have uh, should have laid uh, his its verdict. Uh, in in the absence of that, I will believe that Sunday Igbo uh, is innocent. Uh, well, you are listening to Independent TV Seven. Don't forget to share this news and don't forget to press the bell icon uh, for more notification. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, to this channel uh, we have more trending news to give you thanks for listening and god bless